So I'm here at the second day of the protest that started yesterday. Um, there aren't so many people here. There are, let's say, overall like 40, 50 people. But it's it's uh, it's uh, it's midnight almost exactly. Uh, here's many people. You can see the people and talking and they're staying here overnight there are tents over here as you can see there are people like from the kind of more here and and uh, it's one side of that that's here is the now I'll show you the the parliament behind these trees and that's where the the kind of the where it's kind of kind of the border or that's the fences uh, you can see here um, so but people really are called to come tomorrow in the morning because the members of the parliament will start uh, discussing when they are going to start discussing the leading and talking about the legislation and that's the critical point for people to be here to show that they really don't want the supreme court to be taken over uh as i was explaining to you yesterday that the ruling party wants to take over the supreme court and fire all the judges and put their own judges in their place so here is the here is the parliament building right so people are protesting right near it uh, as, as close as they can there was the first kind of set of tents and stuff and that's where the main protesting group the the committee of defense of democracy that's where they are kind of situated so i'll try to be here tomorrow Hopefully nothing greater will come and maybe even the ruling party will decide not to pass the legislation. Apparently today they decided not to increase the, the price of uh, gas, uh, which they wanted to increase by 20 groschers a uh, liter. So, you know, there, are, there aren't so many people here, but still, you know, what it matters, you know, these are the most resilient people that remain here, even though if it's just 60, 70 people. And we'll see what, what will happen tomorrow. So I'll be in touch with you all. Best. Bye.